All right, hi everyone. My name is Jake Hemmerly and I'm on the technical education team here at the Web3 Foundation. Today I'm going to be showing you how to stake coins on Polkadot and Kusama using your Ledger as well as Polkadot JS apps. So for this example, I'm gonna be using the Ledger Nano X, but this is the uh, same exact process if you're using the S. So obviously you want to make sure your Ledger is set up, make sure you run through uh, the, whole, the whole process there, saving your seed phrase, etc writing that down. And then after that, you're going to uh, plug it in, go ahead and unlock it. And using a Chrome or uh, a Chromium or Firefox based browser, you're going to want to install the Polkadot.js apps browser extension. By using the browser extension, it's, it's easier to manage your accounts and uh, safer than just using it directly within the application itself. Once you have that installed, we're going to uh, go ahead and open that up and uh, we're gonna click add a new account here and click attach a ledger account. So uh, I'm using the Kusama network for this example. I'm going to select Kusama relay chain. I'm gonna give it a name and then uh, you can just leave this zero zero. I'm gonna be using my second account on my ledger for this because my first one's a personal, my second one's work. I'm gonna click import. And we can see uh, right here, KSM, Web3, awesome. This is it, Kusama, awesome. So another thing I'm going to do for this, I'm gonna create a controller account. And the advantage of creating a controller account is that once you set up a, uh, once you bond the coins with your stash account, you can then use the controller to actually control how those coins are used. So we can literally just create a new account, click the plus button here, click create new account, and I'll uh, walk through this process here, give it a name, et cetera, select your whatever. So uh, once you have that, I'm gonna be using uh, this account here, controller example for that. Awesome, so if you uh, go to polkadot.js.org forward slash apps and uh, go under accounts, you should see the newly created accounts, which we can see here, awesome. So. We want, to, uh, we want to put enough coins in the controller account so that we can cover all transaction fees that are going to be related to bonding, staking, etc. For, uh, for this, I'm going to send, let's, uh, let's do 0.01 to, uh, from the Web3. Or I'm sorry, this is, this is my ledger account. I'm going to send that to the controller account. We'll click Make Transfer, Sign and Submit. I'm going to click Sign on Ledger. Uh, make sure the destination, amount, everything's all good, and click Approve. So uh, once that transfers, we will now have uh, the, uh, the coins in that account now. Cool. So uh, next, we're going to go to Network and then Staking. This uh, Staking tab gives you an overview of everything staking related for uh, the Kusama network, or if you're on the Polkadot, uh, Polkadot server, it'll, it'll show you that for Polkadot. To bond and then stake our coins. We're gonna to go to account actions here and we're gonna click the plus button on a new stash. Uh, I'm gonna choose uh, KSM Web3, my ledger as a stash account for the controller account. I'm gonna use the controller account I wanted and I'm going to bond uh, point to Kusama. Once these are bonded, you'll not be able to uh, if, if you want to then later unbond them and then be able to transfer and spend them, there is a bonding cooldown period uh, of seven days for Kusama and 28 days for Polkadot that you'll have to wait before you can uh, transfer those tokens out of your stash account. I'm going to uh, increase the amount at stake here and then I'm going to click bond, sign and submit, and then I will sign this transaction on my ledger. All looks good, approve. Awesome, so we can see uh, that this is the stash, or these rather these tokens are now bonded with uh, this stash and this controller. So next we're going to nominate some validators. And I have already gone through and selected which validators I want to use. The selection criteria, uh, I'll leave a link below that points to the wiki that shows you how to select validators uh, that you can be confident in, that you can trust. Um, so don't just pick the ones that I have here because I'm using them. I'm going to click nominate and uh, I'm going to 
uh, select a few of the validators that I've decided I trust here. You can select up to 16. I'm just going to select four here. Cool. I'm going to click nominate and then this will create a new transaction. And note that this transaction is actually coming from the controller account. It's not coming from your ledger or your stash account because we have already configured the controller uh, for this, this set of bonded coins. Password there, cool, sign that. Awesome, so now all we need to do is wait for the, uh, wait for a little while and uh, hopefully these will become uh, rather, one of these uh, validators here during the next era will become part of the active set, if they're not already, and then you will start earning returns on your staked coins. So let's say that we want to stop the, uh, the process here of, and unbond your coins so that you can spend them like you would. I'm going to go ahead and click stop. This will create a new transaction from the controller account basically stopping the staking of the coins. Uh, this will leave them bonded, but the coins will not be used for, for validating or nominating. So I'm gonna click sign and submit. I'm gonna sign this transaction. Cool, so these coins are still staked, but they're not nominating anymore. And then what we can do is click this little three, drop down here, unbond funds. I'm going to select uh, 0 0.02. I'm going to unbond. If you want to unbond all of them, you can just flip the switch here. And then I'm going to start the unbonding process for this. So again, this is with the controller account. I will unbond. And once you unbond them, you will see a little clock here. And it will say uh, you need to wait this long uh, until the, it'll show you how long uh, until the coins are unbonded from this. So once they're unbonded, then you can spend them. You can do kind of whatever you want with them. Uh, you can transfer them out of the, transfer them from your ledger. So yeah, I hope this is useful. If you have any issues, please reach out in the Polkadot water cooler or Kusama water cooler channels on uh, Matrix. I'll leave links for those below. Thanks.